wipe this down with alcohol. I've got some alcohol in here. I'm going to pour half alcohol, half water roughly, and a couple of drops of dishwashing detergent. It's more than I meant, but it'll do because I have a plant that has some sort of infection. I call this one Big Fowl because it's a phalaenopsis. And it had some cottony stuff in the wells of the leaves earlier that I cleaned it out. It's also got these sort of tracks on the leaves. At the tips, I think that's a bug. But there are all these cottony bits. I'm going to keep this one away from my other ones. So I'm going to use the half alcohol, half water, and cotton swabs to try to clean all this off. And uh, then I'll take a good look at the leaves and see if they have anything left on them that needs cleaning. And let's see. Oh yeah, that comes right off. Let's see if I can do this close to the camera. I can't really see this because I don't have a good monitor anymore. I'm just going to keep on doing that with all the other tips and I'll come back when I get to the leaves. This stuff up here just seems so infected. I think it would be better if I just cut it. If I just cut it. Just cut it. Cut it. Cut it. I'll get rid of all this stuff. Even though it's got all those little buds, it kills me to get rid of it. Because it seems like it really wants to bloom, but I think I just need to cut the losses. So let's try that. These scissors are sterilized. This one I'm going to cut um, right back here. And this one I'm going to cut all the way down here. I should have pulled out the stick first. Okay. So here's some cinnamon. I'm just going to kind of try to push it in there. Is that too much? I hope not. I spilled some on the leaves. I'll Knock that off in a moment. Yeah. Is that like insect spit or something? And there's something there. So I'll clean off the leaves. I'll wipe them off with this uh, alcohol water and dish soap solution. Look there. I think they're hiding in there, right there. What do you think? Is that them? I think so. That clip should be clean. So, I hate to lose the clip, but away it's going. And what about this one? Yeah, I think they're both going to go. Alright, so much for the clips. Okay, I wiped down the leaves as best I could. I wiped down the flower spikes. I should have done that before I cut them. Um, I'm not sure I got everything. I did take the eyedropper and squirt a little bit of the solution in here and then suck it right back up again just in case. Uh, I think I need to wipe the undersides of the leaves a little bit better. But I'm thinking this thing is not going to grow because one of these pieces of wood had a little white spot on it. So I'm thinking the infection might be down in the soil. 
I'll wipe off the bottoms of the leaves. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I think that's better than leaving the infection. And I will keep this isolated from all other house plants just in case. I did clean off the spikes, so I am going to put one on each side to stabilize it a bit, like that. Um, all right, I'll do better than that when I have more leverage. Uh, but I'll clean the underside of the leaves and I'll keep this away from everything. I'll clean out the container, I'll wipe down the outside of this container, do what I can, but I suspect that the infection is in the is in the medium and I don't have any more medium at the moment. So, uh, I don't think this one's going to make it. I did clean off the tag. I cleaned the outside of this pot. Put the two stakes in and just tie them together to hold it in place. I did clean them off. So we'll see how this does in isolation and uh, make a decision later.